Hello there guys, Oki, how are we doing today guys? Today's video is just a quick little tutorial for you guys on how to uncap your Dead by Daylight. Now, as you may know, Dead by Daylight is actually capped to 60 frames uh, just by default, by the second you buy the game and open it up, it is capped at 60 frames. So this is a way and a method that you can basically allow your game to run further than 60 frames if it can. Do bear in mind that obviously when you do this, that if you only have like say a 60 hertz mono, you're not really gonna see any difference anyway. But for the people who have like over that or generally just have a good PC, they know you can run Dead by Daylight at better frames this is a good guide for you and hopefully um, this will help just you know help your frames a little bit I guess and um, this is only available for PC by the way there is no way of this being available on console or anything right now just be able to uh, play at much higher frames I put a file location down below so you're gonna want to copy that and uh, paste it into your Windows uh, search bar here so if you just paste that in it should take you to this uh, file folder so if you click this you should now have this folder open and here you have all of your settings from Dead by Daylight, all your game settings and everything here and pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to game user settings and engine. These are the two ones that you're going to want to use and basically uh, change the settings for here. So first we're going to go to engine, right click, go to properties, make sure read only is unchecked, click OK, then open engine go here and obviously copy and paste this in then close it and make sure you save it then go to properties again and check read only and click ok this will make sure that it's not changed nothing of the file is changed when obviously you go into this game um, because what will happen is if you don't click read only the game may reset what you've done so because when you load it up sometimes what happens is it just resets you to back to default settings again if it's not locked because read only basically locks the file so nothing can be edited anymore so you're going to want to make sure that you do that and then that's it for engine now you want to come over here to game user settings and it's the same thing you want to make sure that uh, read only is unchecked before you do anything then go into game user settings now here you're going to want to scroll down until you find vsync now for people who obviously run at 60 frames this is probably going to be true for you guys so you're going to want to make sure you set that to false so then uh, the vsync is not enabled anymore and then once you've done that you're going to want to come down to here where it says frame rate limit and you can up it to whatever you like but really you can just like uncap it or just like put a high number and then leave it but um yeah and then other than that that is basically it i mean here you can also play around with some of your other settings as well like resolution sizes and you can also change your quality settings up here as well but mm, this doesn't really matter this will only help your frames obviously if you say are running higher graphics but other than that that's everything you should now be good to go and you should now be playing dead by daylight at 100 and so and so frames you should play in, you should be playing at more than 60 frames so um yeah i hope this was a quick and easy guide for you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel if you're not already i hope this helped um and i'll catch you guys in the next video take it easy guys bye bye